Marcus, thank you very much. And we'll have more on this story coming up tonight at 11. Harlan County Sheriff's deputies say they arrested a fugitive wanted in California in a double murder case for more than 20 years ago. Police say Harold Tony was living in the Baxter community for about 10 years with his uncle. WYMT's Ashley Reynolds is in our Cumberland Valley newsroom with reaction from neighbors. Ashley? Steve, people that live next to Tony say he is a nice man and he would do about anything to help a neighbor. People I talked to say they never would have thought they lived next to a man that was on the run. Bobby Dixon lives right next to where Harold Tony lived with his uncle. Uh, I'd be out weed eating and he would wave and I would wave and I'd sometimes go down to the end of my fence and we'd have little conversations, but never would have thought anything. I mean, just a very, very nice individual that was always wanting to try to help people. Dixon says Tony helped him with plumbing work. He never thought his neighbor was a fugitive. It's just real easy to overlook people, and I think in this area we just happen to think that everyone's good. I was shocked, really shocked. Dorothy Gray lives up the road and says she is glad Tony was arrested. Really glad they got him. He's, you know, apprehended. I hope they'll keep him there. Sheriff deputies say Tony used to work as a mechanic and a roofer for Hewlin and Elaine Hughes in Apple Valley, California. Police say Tony got in a fight with Hewlin and threatened to kill him. In the fall of 1988, the Hughes were found shot to death in their home. Tony was arrested for the murders, but police did not find enough evidence to charge him. So the case went cold. This spring, San Bernardino County cold case detectives reviewed the case as part of a federal DNA grant. The case was reopened. During additional interviews, detectives say Tony confessed to friends he committed the murders. It gives the family closure, helps them deal with this ordeal, and it helps the police and the community because it get someone that's committed a murder off the streets and prevent them from committing another. Tony will not be charged with the murders until he is taken back to California. Tony did decline to comment from the detention center. He also told police he has terminal cancer and he says he only has about six months left to live. In the Cumberland Valley Newsroom, I'm Ashley Reynolds. Steve, now back to you. Okay, Ashley, thank you.